What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to an early preview of Stone Valley 22 on Farming Simulator 22. This is a new map that will be coming out very soon to all platforms from Lancy Boy. If you played Farming Simulator 19, you probably have seen this map, but it is completely changed for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, let's see, this is running right now at 126 megabytes. Uh, like I said, this is an early preview, so that means some stuff is probably subject to change. As you guys have noticed, probably with Lancy Boy's maps, a lot of stuff changes on it. So, yeah, let's just get into this map tour. All right, so here is exactly where you start off. Let's actually go over the starting vehicles before we even get into any of that. Oh, okay, yeah, so starting vehicles, we have three medium tractors, the 4755, the 7810, and the MF 3670. Harvesters, you got the top liner 4090H. Uh, cars, a pickup 1986. Trailers, you have the DK 115. Headers, you got the top liner 4090 header. Uh, cultivators, you got the EG 39. Cedars, the HK 25. Header trailers, of course, you got the 4090 trailer. And then you got two weights, the PAX 750s. I believe this is actually the starting vehicles on Elm Creek. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be probably changing sometime soon. All right. Here is exactly where you start off. This is your house, and this is the house from Elm Creek. The good thing about this whole farm right here is if you go to build mode, go over to demolish, everything can be demolished on here so you can make it the way you want. Okay, anyways, like I said, there is that. There is your truck right there. These do have custom sheds on here, so let's go ahead and open a few of these. Each shed has its own sounds. So there we go. Got water trigger right over there. There's another shed. And then we have two more right over here. Which these ones, I don't think they have doors. No, they don't. But I don't think this one has one. So this would be a bad... This one has a door right here. I'm looking for is a light switch. Because I'm pretty sure there is some on... Jeez, that was actually pretty loud. Got a door right over here. Have another one right over there. So there is plenty of shed space on your main farm. And then of course we also have a dog right over here. I like this little fenced in yard. And as you see, there is collectibles. I'm only gonna show you guys this collectible. I'm not gonna give them all away before you know you get them. Okay, where where did Samber go? Sam, oh, Samber's just walking out there. Yes, you will see Samber actually running through the field. So be mindful of that. Okay, the fields that you own when you start on new farmer mode, we start with fields two and six. Two will have wheat, as you see right there. And then if we go over to six, six will have the plow texture, but it will not be plowed. So if you have plowing on, uh, let me actually turn it on real quick so you guys can see. Uh, period of plowing on. Okay, there we go. And you see this one will need plowed and lime, but this one will also need plowing and lime. And then uh, with precision farming, uh, I did not actually turn precision farming on. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, we're back. Uh, precision farming is on. As you see, if, if, okay, if you played Farming Simulator 19, you probably, probably used to this, but it looks completely different. I believe for this field right over here was a brand new farm, and there is no farm right here. Uh, but anyways, for precision farming. Let's go right here real quick. Let's do that. Let's purchase a soil map and the soil map. So you see that this is has a custom soil map on it, and well. Field six has a lot of silty clay, so that's kind of bad right there. All right, so like I said, precision farming has its own custom one. Okay, so let's actually just take a look more at the map. Let's take a look at this right here. So this is your PDA. You have, let's see, 24, I think 24 fields. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, to, wait, no, 30 fields. There's 30 fields on here. And I think the biggest one would probably be, what, field 17? How, how big is 17? 17 is 27.22 hectare acres. This one's 33.88, so that one might be the biggest one. I think that is the biggest one, 33. Yep, 33.88. So that's pr pretty pretty decent sized fields. All right, like I said, there is your first main farm, but there is actually more than that on here on farms. So if we go right over to here, let me go ahead and click on this one. Let me actually go ahead and buy the farms. You can find a farm right there. You can find a farm right here, which I don't have enough money. Hold on one second. Oops, wrong button. 12, let's add some money on here real quick. There we go. So glad that thing, that thing is back. 
Okay, let's go ahead and buy these fields real quick. So there's a farm, and I believe the other farm is... Um, where is the other farm? Oh, I think it's right... No, it's not right there. Is it right here? I don't think it is. Yeah, that's not right there. By the way, you do also own, like, the roads and stuff, so when you're still plowing, you have no problems with that. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Sorry. Okay, so there's a farm. There's a farm, which I didn't buy that one. And there's a farm. All right, so right now we're in the top farm right up here, right by field 16. So, see it has a house right there. There is the main road right here. So, we have silos right here, but I think these are just for decoration yet because nothing's popping up on there. We have a shed, and this one is actually a white shed compared to the other one. Uh, does this thing have lights on it? No, it does not. And then we have, this looks like your sheep pen, yes. This thing holds 200 sheep, so let's go ahead and just buy 60 of them real quick. So there's sheep right there, all sheep in here. You put your water right over there. And yeah, I, I just love the way he does his animal placeables. Go right through there. You got your food, and of course your wool will be coming out there. Okay, we got a fuel tank right there, which holds up to 5,000 liters of diesel. Got some storage sheds, and that is about it of this farm right here. And of course, you got a pathway to go to field 16, which is one of the biggest fields. Okay, then if we go over to the cow farm right over here, let me uh, click on that one. Okay, diesel, like the other one. We got some storage sheds, love this storage shed. Gotta open that up. Oh, this one does have a light switch. So turn those lights on. And then this this is actually where you get your uh, cows. Which this thing holds, let's see, I think it's 150. Yep, 150. So let's go ahead and just put 60 of those in. Let's put 60 of these in. You know what, let's go ahead and just fill the whole thing up. Uh, 30 of those in. So that thing is completely filled. So if I'm in that, open that up, but you see they're not in here right now. Well, for one thing, is we don't have any food, so I don't know why they would even come in here. But, oh, okay, there's one right there. So they will actually move all the way from around there, all the way to here. Oh, yeah, that's where you get your milk, by the way. See, right, if you go over there, open that up. There we go. But they will actually move all the way through here. As you see right here, they are sitting there. Yeah, they're eating. And then we also have a slurry pit right over there. But they will actually be, you know, roaming around this road, ro roaming around the shed. I mean, it's pretty nice. And then they'll go all the way to this big field right here, which a lot of them are right now laying down in. So I think that that's pretty cool. Something we don't usually see, you know, like sitting there driving around, you know, your cows and all that. They all actually probably have a cow in the middle of the road. All right, let's go right over here. There should be a gate okay no there is no gate okay so there's that and then we have some more storage sheds right here well this is the one we went through just a minute ago and then we have two silage bunkers one right there and then one right here these things can probably hold about at least half a million to a million liters i'm pretty sure okay so that is pretty much the cow farm this cow farm is amazing oh wait there's also another storage area right down here it looks like I like this little, like, you know, this little dirt path. Open that up. Oh, and we have our own little workshop down here. Nice. Yep. So, you know, if something breaks down on the field, just bring it right on into the shop. Okay, so that is the cow area. Let's go over the last one, which is the pig one. So let me go right here. And as you've seen, uh, each each farm has its own uh, area for fuel. All right, so this is the pig area right quick. Uh, we've got some storage space, plenty of space to put your combine or whatever you want to put right there. Water area, uh, storage. Then if we open this gate right here, more storage. And then here is your pig area. So we got, you know, dumping your food right there. Your water, so you will have to put water in this one. And I believe these do actually, yes, they do open up. And this thing can hold up to 400 pigs. So let's just try to get 400. Well, at least try to get a little bit, right? 
there's 60, 60, and 60. There we go. We got 100, 180 pigs in here right now. So, if we go around over to... Okay, you don't see them right over here. You'll see them right over here. And there's another collectible. Just gave one away. Yep, there is all the pigs. And, of course, this one does have a house. Oh, yeah, something you'll also notice on this. There is no extra crops, but if we go to the selling list, right down at the bottom, you will see a new one in compost. He is going to be adding compost to the map as a production factory. So we will be able to actually make compost on here. And I believe he's going to be looking into trying to get actually a corn dryer on the map too. Which that would be huge. Okay, speaking of factories, there is two fact. Actually, I think three factories on here. There is, I believe, a grain mill. If I can just find it somewhere. I think it's right over here. Let me actually go right over here. Might have to own it to actually be able to do anything with it. There's there's a grain mill on here, and I believe what is the last one? Might might be a dairy building, maybe. Okay, let me try to find this grain mill. Oop, don't get caught. Okay, see so here is the grain mill. I don't know why it's not popping up. Okay, that might be a bug. Why it's not popping up? Hmm. Yeah, because nothing's popping up on this. I don't know why it's not popping up, because I don't own it. I See, I own the spinnery, but I don't own the... Oh, maybe I have to own the land. Hold on, let me make sure, because maybe I might have to own the land to be able to get it. So if we click that... Yeah, okay, yep, you have to own the land to be able to use it. See, now look. There we go. Okay. Oh, so when you buy the land, you actually buy the building. Oh, okay. That's that's nice. So you don't have to build it by the building separate. All right. So we have that. We also have the spinnery, which was right. Where is the spinnery at? I believe it's right over here. Yeah, there's the spinnery. And then also right over here. If you buy this right quick. We have a bee, uh, biogas plant right here. So with this, you can sell your wood. Where's the trigger for this? Okay, maybe it's just for that, huh? Okay, let me go right over here. Yeah, okay, so it's just for that. So actually, we only have two factories on this map. Pretty sure he's going to be adding more later on. All right, let's actually go to the town, and then we'll call it a map tour. Okay, first of all, you will see that there is a valley seeds and lime refill one right over here. And there's also one right up here. So there's one in the north and one in the south. Uh, if we go right here, this is your vehicle shop. So this is where your vehicles will spawn right over here. And then right over here is where we can actually fix up our vehicles or change stuff on it. Okay. And as you see, he's actually got smoke working on here. So that's nice. Yeah, and there's those, those two containers right there is where you can refill your seeds and your lime and your regular fertilizer. You can't do liquid fertilizer, but I'm pretty sure he's going to probably be adding that later on too. Uh, something else with this map too, you will see like these will actually rise and lower, especially the one by the pig farm, which is right over here. So yeah, this one right over here is supposed to be actually like during the seasons, it will actually raise and lower. So I will have to actually take a look at that later on too. Okay, we have a supermarket right over there. Then we also have some other buildings down here. I don't think you can open up these. At least I'm not sure. No, you can't. Then we have like a little bitty... I don't know. This looks like a little bitty park. We have... we. There is a fuel station on here. We have Matthews 42. So this is where you can get your fuel. The cool thing about this is you can also sell some stuff here. See? has some drop-off triggers. So if we go to the sell menu... As you see, let me let me try to find one real quick. Supermarket, right there. See, chocolate, Stone Valley Fuel Stop, uh, Strawberry, Stone Valley Fuel Shop. See what I mean? So you can actually sell some of your goods right here at the gas station. Okay, and there's also like a little bitty town right back here, and then you can also see some of the mailboxes that Sam hit earlier. And that is about it. Got like a oh, this is pretty cool. Like this little bitty like pond right here. Actually. Okay, never mind. This ain't a pond. This is more of a, a storm drain right here. 
Okay, and of course you'll see like, you know, muddy areas like this all over the map. I mean, there is just a lot of detail on this map. All right, let's go right, right quick up to the north and then we will call it a video. I'll probably be doing another video on this later on when it does get released because I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff is actually going to be changing on here, you know, or adding a lot of stuff. So uh, we have some cell points right over here. This is like another little small town. And you also notice like in the distance, there is a lot of windmills, uh, which is on like the border and stuff. So there is that. Okay, but anyways, guys, this was an early preview look at Stone Valley. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Remember, guys, if you have not followed Lancey Boy on his Facebook, make sure you guys do. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure to smash that like button. If you have a sub, make sure you guys do. And like always, have a nice day, farmers. Talk to you guys later. Peace.